Supply Ultra Lather Shaving Cream and the Supply SC Single Edge Injector Razor. We're going to have a shave with both of them coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watch shavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeStoon.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time. Really do appreciate it. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave, whether it be new razors, new shave soaps, new shaving creams. And speaking of new shaving creams, we have a new shaving cream in the shave den. Really looking forward to introducing it to you and using it on camera. Really, really terrific shaving cream. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos. And also, please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, viewer Beth Jones very, very kindly sent along Supply Ultra Lather Shaving Cream. Boy, this is wonderful. This is the crisp scent. It uh, contains juniper, bergamot, and jasmine. This has a real nice masculine, woody, outdoors kind of a scent. Really, really terrific, terrific stuff. And as they say on their product page right here, they say whip up a rich foamy lather with just a fingertip of our plant-based shaving cream. The blend of natural ingredients replenishes your skin, prepares your hairs for a silky smooth razor glide, and leaves you moisturized and refreshed after you've finished shaving. Really, really terrific. Now on the back label, uh, their instructions recommend getting about an almond-sized uh, dollop, uh, massaging it into your skin, and then following up with a damp shaving brush. Now I've got my shaving brush soaking in the sink right now. I've got this right here ready to go. We're also going to be using my Supply SE Single Edge Injector Razor. Boy, this is an absolutely fabulous injector razor. If you're looking for one that's both good for face shaves and head shaves, check this one out. This this Nick Stop technology right here, this, this guard right here that has the fins in it, boy, this really works. I mean, it works for me. It really does cut down on nicks and cuts. Really, really like this a lot. I've used it for both face shaves and head shaves. It does a marvelous, marvelous job. And the black label blades that come with this razor are wonderful. They really are. So we're going to go ahead and use this razor. I'm also going to finish it off with um, an Allen block, my GBS Allen block right here. And because uh, this has kind of an outdoors masculine kind of scent, we're going to use uh, from Avon, Avon Wild Country Aftershave Splash. Yeah, this has the same kind of vibe going for it. It's not identical scent, but it's a nice follow-up. Uh, really will complement uh, the shave cream I'm using. Really terrific. And then also for upstairs, we're going to use the Wild Country Aftershave Balm. So that's what we got going on right now. Uh, again, all I have to do is get a dollop, massage it into the face, get a uh, shave brush, shake it out a little bit, and then build a lather. Uh, really, it really, really works well for face lathering, although you can use uh, a shaving bowl, like their supply shaving bowl. Works really well for that as well. Uh, they have a video on their site that shows, I think Patrick could do, actually building a lather with the shaving bowl and uh, the shaving cream. We're going to do a face lather. Uh, you can see me on camera building the face lather. Uh, and I really like face lathering, as you know. So uh, I think that's got probably everything covered here. Let me just get this out of the way so it doesn't get wet. I'm going to set it right there like that. All right, let's wet the face. Let's get to the shave. I got about one day's worth of uh, beard growth here. And I have taken this for a test drive already. And I've been working with it a little bit so you can see that. So we're going to get a nice, nice, nice dollop. What do you think about that much? Maybe a little more. Yeah, about, uh, they say almond size. I'm going to go with that much right there. Yeah, I'll err on the size uh, side of a little too much. But um, that's what we're going to use right there. So I will just, with one hand here, just... Massage that into the skin. 
it is good and slick, and I just don't want to waste it on my other hand here. Matter of fact, I'm going to wipe that on there like that, just so I can kind of save it. Okay, in case I have to apply just a little more, but I don't think so. I don't think I will. Let me get that right there. Okay, so we got that in place. So let's get this. Let's give it a little shake or two. Okay, a nice damp brush. All right, here we go. And it's, they say to just, you know, build a lather with some vigorous swirling from your brush. You can see already. I have found that uh, this is probably all the water you're going to need right here to build a nice creamy lather right about here. This is all you're going to need. You could probably, you know, I could probably, if you're at this stage of what I'm saying, you could probably dip in and get a little more water, but <laughs> really, this, this is all you're going to need. I just gave the brush a couple of shakes. And look at that. Maybe just a little, I'm just tempted just to go a little, just a little bit. Okay, there, you know what? <laughs> that is definitely boom! Lather! Isn't that nice? Again, you may have to work with the water to cream ratio a little bit but this is kind of what you want right here so don't put excessive water in your brush if it's soaking in the sink just give it a couple of shakes maybe two and a half shakes and go right to this and that's what you'll get okay we're going to keep it warm right there and let me just wipe that off my hands there because i'm not going to need that all righty here's my razor and I also have the grip sleeve on there. You can see that? Okay. So we're going to heat this under some hot, hot, hot water. And uh, <laughs> we're all set to go. This is one. Look at that lather. That's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lather. All right, here we go. 15 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That's, that's marvelous. That's absolutely marvelous. And as you can see right here, this is clog proof. It just moves the lather out of the way, away from the blade, and just a couple of vigorous shakes, and look at that. Boy, that is so smooth, and it has some really wonderful moisturizing qualities. Really terrific. Very, very good. Well, that's terrific and this SE razor is it's marvelous not bad getting it underneath the nose getting those little bits there but really uh, we'll get the majority of them or the rest of them on the east to west pass it doesn't do a bad job at all but on the east to west it does a pick up a little bit better uh it's a little, a little more uh, maneuverable on the east to west pass on the east to west on the east to west pass getting all those little bits there but it did a nice job initially of uh getting some of them all right that's the first pass done let's rinse all right I am in the socially acceptable shave territory. Very, very nice. I'm not going to put any more water on the brush or anything like that. We're just going to do this and let that lather come right back. Look at that. Came, look at that. Came right back again. 
I think with this shave cream, the water to cream ratio is something you're going to have to adjust for when you initially use it. You'll hit, you'll hit the right amount. You'll understand what the right amount is. But if you've used some shave soaps or other shave creams where you're adding water, adding water, adding water, uh, you know, back off the water with this one. Uh, it really, it just needs a little bit of water and it just takes right off. I mean, look at that. Again, and again, it gives me, it's been giving me wonderful, wonderful protection. Just terrific, terrific protection. Nice glide. Really, really like this. Again, a nice outdoor, masculine, woody kind of a scent. Terrific, really terrific. Uh, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. And again, you know, it's moving out of the way. So just a couple of vigorous, you know, swirls in there and it's ready to go. The grip sleeve really does help. It really, really does help. I've used it both way, both ways with the grip sleeve and without the grip sleeve. Uh, entirely up to you, whatever feels best for you, but the grip sleeve really does help, especially when you have a a really slick shave soap or shave cream and this has some nice nice slickness I got a little residue right here still and it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty slick it really is That's terrific. That really is. A lot of nice glide to where I can do a little bit of buffing there. Terrific. Again, this really does a nice job east to west cleaning up all those bits. There's enough glide and slickness there to where I can do that little bit of buffing there. You can still see I have a little bit of protection there. And I really... <laughs> and that is... That's so smooth. And it just gets everything very, very nicely. Terrific. Terrific, 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 terrific. Okay, second pass done. Let's rinse. I would say this shave is done. <laughs> it really is. But you know what? I'm enjoying it so much and I want to show you how much lather we have here. I'm going to do a third pass just to show you how much lather we have in the brush and how, how nicely it comes back. Again, I'm not adding any water to the brush, just the water on my face from that couple of splashes there. And it comes back very very nicely and you can see it's still still plenty in the knot there you can see I got some nice nice thick areas on the brush thick lather areas on the brush that are just coming through okay look We're back. That's fantastic. All right, here we go. We're going to go past number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain. Uh, 
And I said it before and I'll say it again. I love doing a third pass. We're going to get just a little closer. The shape was done after the second pass, but I'm just doing a little bit of pickup here to get a little extra close. And I have plenty of shave cream and I just love, I just love this motion. I love this. And if I haven't mentioned it, the supply razor is just, it's so intuitive. You can find the angle with this so very easily. It's, it's smooth, it's close, very, very comfortable. With this shave cream, this razor, very comfortable. I mean, I only have to do, I don't have to do the upper lip, really. I can do against the, against the grain on the corners of my mouth without fearing any tugging or pulling or anything like that. Really wonderful, wonderful third pass. Third pass done, let's rinse. Alrighty, that, that's, <laughs> that's a wonderful shave. That is really nice. We're gonna do my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. This has been a great, great shave. Warm water rinse. That's nice. I'm going to flip it to the cold water side. Yeah, that's great. It didn't I didn't use any pre-shave, obviously. Just want to show you what this shave cream can do. And that <laughs> that's a nice, nice shave. Really, very close, very comfortable. Love this scent. Terrific. All right, here's my cold water rinse. That's nice. That is, <laughs> that's really, really nice. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Rinsed off very nicely. Boy, that was, that's great. Really a very, very nice result. It, it, terrific, really. Here, just... Yeah, this is BBS, really. And again, the post-shave feel from the shaving cream, very, very, I mean, wonderful. Um, if I had to run out the door right now, uh, and I wouldn't need an Allen block, I wouldn't need the aftershave, because that's how nice this post-shave feel is from the shave cream. Uh, really, very, your skin feels very supple, feels moisturized. It, it's really, it's a very, very good shaving cream. It really is. All right, let's see what kind of feedback we got though. Uh, here's my Allen block right here. GBS Allen block. We're gonna go ahead and run this in the cold water, run it across my face, and see if we get any stinging, any zinging, anything like that. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is uh, this is cool and smooth as ice. Wonderful. No problem at all. No stinging. No zinging at all. This was really, really. This was wonderful. This was terrific. Really. Uh, I'm just going to dry that off like that. And we'll put it back in the case here, like this, okay? And we'll let that dry out. Uh, leave it open, let it dry out uh, from the air in the room, and uh, it'll go ahead and uh, it'll be ready for tomorrow's shave. Okay, here we go. Here's the brush. Let's take a look here, and I'll show you. Real, look how much I have left. Look at that. Now, here we go. Watch, 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 watch. Look at that. 
Isn't that marvelous? That's, that's marvelous. A lot of good cushion, a lot of slickness, terrific, terrific, agreeable feel on the skin. I mean, it is really agreeable. Um, and again, a wonderful, wonderful poche feel. Really, really nice. And I, and I've got this, uh, again, I mentioned this with some shaving soaps and shaving creams. I've got this nice, nice, uh, post shave glow from it. Uh, part of it is because I've removed that whisker and I've revealed, uh, the skin. And, uh, of course, it's going to look a little brighter when you remove that whisker. But the post shave feel really adds to that brightness and that, uh, that youthful energy coming off of my face right now. Really, it's, it's, this is a really good shave cream. I like this. I like the shave cream a lot. I really do. Thank you, Beth Jones. Okay, a little bit of, uh, Avon Wild Country here. Boy, I love this stuff. Haven't used it in a while. Wow, it's terrific. Like this a lot. <laughs> All right, we're going to go with, uh, some of this balm here, I have to wipe some of this off because I splash a lot. I'm like I say, I'm like a hippo in a watering hole. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, so here we go. A little bit of this right here. About that much right there. And then... Terrific. Great shave. This was really, really terrific. I like this a lot. Uh, boy, Supply Ultra Lather Shaving Cream. And they are right when they say Ultra Lather. Again, a couple of, um, couple of tips. Don't overdo the water. Uh, just uh, give your brush a few shakes. If you're going to do the face lather, give your brush a few shakes. And let the water on your face that you've done from uh, getting ready for it, you know, kind of put some water in your face. Let that uh, be the water that, that will help build the lather. Yeah, give it some uh, vigorous uh, face lathering, swirling, and that sort of thing. You'll get a really nice lather as I did. And I have enough here from what I took out for uh, about three passes and a touch-up, maybe even a fourth pass if I needed it. And again, you know, I could probably back off a little bit from what I used and uh, back off from the water to keep the ratio consistent, uh, that sort of thing. But I wanted to use a little more because I wanted to obviously have, like I do with all my reviews, when I, whether I'm using a shaving soap or a shaving cream, I tend to load a little more just, just so I have enough for on-camera performance. Uh, but uh, yeah, I had more than enough for on-camera performance with the Supply Shaving uh, Ultra Lather Shaving Cream. Three cents. This is crisp. They have coastal. Hang on one minute. Uh, coastal, calm, and crisp. Uh, coastal has notes of bergamot, cedar, and oak moss. Uh, beach, beachy and citrusy like a midsummer's day in southern Italy. That sounds like a good one. Calm. Notes of blue sage, lavender, and eucalyptus. Soothing and stress relieving like a stroll through a French lavender field. That also French lavender field. That also sounds like a good one. And of course, I've used crisp. Uh, notes of juniper, bergamot, and jasmine. Woodsy, woody and masculine, like walking, uh, like waking among conifer-covered peaks. Yeah, walking, waking, you know what I'm saying. You know what. Either way, you're going to get that scent, whether you're waking up or whether you're walking through it. It's terrific. It really, really is. So, uh, natural plant-based ingredients, great moisturizers, wonderful glide, pairs up terrific with the Supply SE Razor. Going to use it with the uh, Supply Pro Adjustable Razor as well, uh, and also my 2.0. Uh, yeah, this was really an enjoyable, enjoyable shave. So, my sincere thanks to Beth Jones uh, for sending this along. Thank you again very, very much, Beth. I really do appreciate it. If you're looking for uh, an alternate new shaving cream, give any of those three cents from Supply a try. It really is very, very good. And uh, I, I really, really enjoyed it a lot. It's four ounces in this jar. Looks like it's going to last a good long time. 
So that's, that's it right there. Supply Ultra Lather Shaving Cream. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so we give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog. For my comic strip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this, I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. For all things barbers, check out Big Dude Barbers. I'll have the link below. Check out Supply, the Ultra Lather Shaving Cream, or the SE Razor, or the Pro Adjustable Razor. Boy, they make some great, great shaving gear. And uh, give them a look. I'll have the links. I'll have the link to Supply below, and I'll also have a link directly to their shaving cream, and also directly to the SE and Pro Razors. Really, really terrific. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Rady, where you'll find all the products I review in this channel, organized and categorized, so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.